and hundreds of people impacted by the mass shooting in El Paso now turning to the Red Cross for mm. help. Team Charles Bram resident continues our team coverage from El Paso and, and Bram some of these volunteers flew in from Phoenix to help out which says so much. Uh, that's right. There's a Phoenix team uh, helping with the response, actually leading the response here in El Paso. You know, when you think of the Red Cross, you think of natural disasters, floods, hurricanes, but they also respond to mass shootings. And the Phoenix team is responsible for El Paso, New Mexico, and Arizona. So they are here. I spoke to the CEO of the Phoenix team, and he told me these mass shootings are happening far too often. You know, mental health services is exceedingly important. And you might be surprised uh, sometimes just getting uh, the, the cars that people have, it brings them back to a more normal pattern of life. And that they can, that's the first step. And then they can take the next step. And then they can take the next step. And it's a process. And that was CEO Kurt Cromer of the uh, American Red Cross based in Phoenix telling me what they've learned about helping out mass shooting survivors and it's the return to normalcy. You've probably heard all week that the uh, folks at the Walmart have been trying to retrieve their cars. That is the most important thing he said and that's what they've learned just return things to normalcy. About 300 people were at the Family Assistance Center set up for these folks down in downtown El Paso. That opened again this morning for a second day. I expect a similar turnout. A lot of work to be done with these folks. You know, the work includes mental health counseling. Many have financial needs. There's a little children's center there where folks can drop off their kids while they meet with about a dozen different organizations to sort through the things you have to deal with after a mass shooting. Hopefully never, none of us ever have to deal with that. Uh, but at least I've learned the Red Cross now is there kind of a sign of the times.